Hey guys, Super Vegeta 25 here. Uh, I'm back in the bathroom. Yes, just like my first video or first two videos. Uh, cause my son is sleeping back in his room, so usually I would come home and pick him up and put him into that room. But I usually then my past couple of videos I I did my videos in there before I got him and I'll put him in there after. You know, because my girlfriend works uh, on the phone, stay home. So, uh, that's good for her, you know, so, uh, her aunt watches the baby, you know, during the day and everything while she's working and I'm working, but, so, well, anyways, not to get too much detail into that, but anyways, that I'm in the bathroom. Um, this is going to be a new gaming, um, uh, epi episodes I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to be calling it, uh, uh, what is it, <laughs> gaming debate, I'm going to be calling it a gaming debate. So, uh... Uh, this will be the first episode, naturally, and uh, it's going to be survival horror, horror versus action horror. That's survival horror versus action horror. Uh, that's the first episode I'm going to be doing right now, so here we go. Okay, guys, uh, I don't have a script or anything, so I usually just like to speak my mind or anything, you know, compared to other people on YouTube, they just talk away because they have, obviously have a script, but, <laughs> or that just makes me retarded. But anyways, uh, um, uh, you know, the first video game franchise you would think about is Resident Evil for horror in general. You know, if you, you ask anyone, uh, um, th name a video game series or just name a video game that um, relates to the horror genre of, of video games, and they'll say, oh, Resident Evil, because, you know, it's been since, the first one's come out since 96, that's become even well more well known since 19, uh, 1998 with the sequel uh, Resident Evil 2, which was the big, big, bigger hit of the first game. If it wasn't for the first game, the second one wouldn't have been as good as it was or is still. And it's definitely one of the best games, one of my favorite games of all time out there still. But um, uh, so I like to talk about this. Uh, I'm not trying to say which is better than the other. If if action horror related is better than anything, a survival horror element more, you know, I'm not trying to do that. I, like, I love both. Um, but I will say this, that Resident Evil has changed uh, a ton after Resident Evil 3, well, after Code Veronica. Code Veronica came after 3, came out in the year 2000, I think, of like March? Maybe I think January. I don't remember, it was early 2000s. It came out on the Dreamcast first, then it came out on the PS2, GameCube later on. I think maybe a year later, it came out with extra stuff like story and maybe new areas to explore. But anyways, um, not to get too much into that, but uh, the series has changed a lot. It went from survival horror, like from used to get like these, uh, used to get slots, uh, to put items in, used to get I think maybe up to six slots, um, and uh, at least in Resident Evil. Uh, one, I think it was only limited by six slots. I think maybe for like, there would be two scenarios you play as Chris and you play as Jill. Jill, I think you got, I think there were both six slots. I think, you know, I haven't played actually the first one in a while. It's been about like two years. That's a while for me. And I can't remember. I've been, I played Resident Evil 2 twice in a row recently before Resident Evil 6 came out. So I was, you know, the anticipation. And also, I was playing on the PSP, so I was playing it at work. So, it killed time a lot. So, I beat both of those in a week at work, you know, while I'm working, so, so I beat those, t I could beat those games under, like, five hours, but, um, anyways, um, yeah, like I said, you get, like, six to eight slots, so it'd be very limited, you would know, you would have to put, be careful, like, what you put in, I would try to combine, like, herbs and stuff to try to not take up too much slots, you know, I have, like, kind of, like, elements like that, like, uh, you'd be limited, uh, basically, you'd be limited what you can carry, and, like, other games, of the Resident Evil franchise, uh, there'll be like in Resident Evil 4, that's where it changed a lot, that's where it became more action horror, but it did still keep the horror elements, unlike Resident Evil 5, it went totally, that's when it like really changed for good, like you knew it was like, that was not a good idea, Resident Evil 5, but I still love the game regardless, it's an amazing game, the only thing that, uh, that didn't make as good as 4, besides other reasons I actually have for the game that makes 4 better than 5, in my opinion. Uh, 5, it was, the whole game was like broad daylight. Uh, 4 at least had like very dark elements. Um, 
Uh, I don't know. There was just more survival to it. Five didn't. Because first of all, then you had co-op, and the co-op was dumb as shit. <laughs> okay, and uh, most of you that played Resident Evil Five uh, know that it was the co uh, the AI was just plain retarded. Even the enemy AI was plain retarded. You would have to play with a friend all the time, which is much fun, much more for fun. Just like Left 4 Dead. If you play Left 4 Dead one or two, it's it sucks playing by yourself and playing with AI better when you play with other people. But anyways, um, other genres that stayed in the survival horror elements, I think like uh, Silent Hill stayed in that 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 formula of survival horror because uh, you're 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 constantly running away from enemies. You're uh, you know you just puzzles. Puzzles is a big thing of survival horror and limited items, um, except for the other the other. Um, New newer Silent Hill games I like Downpour that came out this year. I got that game. It, it's a great game. I'm thinking about doing a review on that. I like it a lot. A lot of people will differ on my opinion, but I think it's a really fun game. So the topic's more on Resident Evil related with survival horror and versus action horror because that's the series that really changed the formula of both that that they created with survival horror. That's what Capcom created. They were the first, basically the first company that created a first true survival horror game. Sorry, horror. Horror. <laughs> Can't say it right. Uh, it's late at night. I make my videos past midnight. Um, but anyways, um, uh, anyways, I talk about 4 and 5 a little bit. Uh, 6, um, I'm, I'm almost done with the game. Well, halfway done. I still have to do Jason Ada's campaign. Um, so far, my thoughts on the game, well, I'm not going to really say much because I'm going to save it for my review. Um, it's positive, it's a little bit negative, but mostly positive on the game. Most, a lot of people will give it negative, but I like the game a lot. Let's just put it out there. Uh, some of it got disappointed once it went to another campaign than the first campaign I played. So, um, in other words, I hope Jake's campaign is better than the one I played before. But not saying the last campaign I played was really bad. It's just that I was disappointed from the first campaign I played. But anyways, uh, six um, brought back more of the elements of four had a little bit more, more like more like darker themed and everything, gothic kind of look. At least Leon's. Chris is more like five, except actually a little more actiony than five. In my opinion, I, maybe about the same, but it's, I think it's a little more actiony. At least the couple first couple of chapters and, and later on. But um, very good game so far. But I'm not gonna say more about it. But anyways, uh, you know, basically I just wanted to put it out there of uh, you know what I think what of the direction of survival horror to action horror, such as the Resident Evil franchise that I went into. Uh, there's other, like I said, Silent Hill is, a, is, is another horror series, video game series that that base that stayed the same throughout the whole throughout the whole series. That's that's what's good. But like I said, I'm not trying to say which is better than the other because Resident Evil 4 is my favorite game of all time, and that that kind of contradicts it a little bit because I don't know. I'm more of a survival horror person because it's a little more different than action horror because you'll get a lot of those you'll play like other games like Dead Space you'll those are like action horror games but um yeah like the, the, like like the Dead Space yeah that's that's a good example of action horror if any of you know you guys played um Dead Space but there are survival horror elements yes there is but it's more based on the action horror if you look at that, that that's a perfect example if you look at like Dead Space uh, 1 and 2, mainly the first one, but Dead Space 1 or 2, the Dead Space franchise, compared to Resident Evil 1, 2, or 3, the original, and Code Veronica even. Uh, those are a perfect example of what survival horror is and action horror is. So, you know, being Resident Evil, the, the original 3 or 4, the first few games, before anything, before Resident Evil 4, was like survival horror and with like limited everything and puzzle making. Which is, and then you look at like games like Resident Evil 5, even Resident Evil 4, even 4, 5, 6, and Dead Space 1 and 2, and even 3 that's coming out, and uh, for other survival horror games like Silent Hill, there's other game, there's other great games out there, there's um, for survival horror, but 
Uh, like I said, I, I was making this more video a little more simpler with not talking about too many games. But, uh, yeah, there's other great games like Haunting Ground, uh, Clock Tower for survival horror games. Uh, there's, there's so many, there's so many great games. Well, other action horror games is like Bioshock is another good example, or Aliens vs. Predator. Sort of Alien vs. Predator, or Aliens, or Aliens Colonial Marines that's coming out. It's like a sci-fi horror game. But, um, but yeah, you know, like I said, not trying to say which is better than the other, because I love both. But, uh... If anything, for the Resident Evil franchise, I would prefer the survival horror. It would be nice if they did bring that back for another game, but they kind of did for Resident Evil Revelations. If any of you played that for the 3DS, I beat the game twice. I beat it on normal and hell mode, which is hard mode. Um, uh, the game is more closely related to the original games, just with the Resident Evil 4 or 5 gameplay. Not 6, but... Ex 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 yeah. Excluding the part where you can actually walk and shoot, so you can actually do that in Revelations, which is a thumb up higher than uh, uh, four and five. You can actually do that, but uh, it's probably the, like the last Resident Evil game they're going to use that engine on, which is I think is the Unreal Engine three or whatever. But uh, Revelations is a different engine, but it's the same angling and kind of like graphic style or whatever. But the 3DS uses a different style, but enough of that. But, uh, yeah, that game is that game's more of an action horror, but the beginning of the game, like, the first two or three chapters out of the 12 chapters is, like, survival horror. Because you actually don't get a lot of ammo and everything in the game. You're mainly, like, running around and everything, trying to find your stuff and find your partner and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, this is my first episode, episode one, of my new series called Gaming Debate. Um... So I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, and my lovely background of the bathroom I'm in, because that's the only room I'm allowed in that's available right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's more videos to come. I have other, I have plenty of videos to co uh, to come out with, um, with uh, my gaming debate series. I'm doing, uh, I'm gonna do a pickups video. Uh, I know a lot of you guys like that, so. Um, I haven't picked up a lot of games because, you know, my son being born, I had to save up for him, you know, got to look at your priorities. So, but I'm going to get, like, a handful of games I got from this year, and uh, I'll talk about them. Some of them I didn't get to play, but, um, yeah, I'll, I'll do an episode of that. Maybe I might do that next. I just got to find a lot of the games. Some of them I put away and everything, but, but yeah. Um, Sorry, I'm like looking down at my my notes. I'm just looking at my notes that I wrote down like every like episode's planning I'm gonna do. So I'm just kind of looking through it so I can say it in front of the camera. But uh, yeah, there's um, oh you know I'll say it right now. Uh, I have other videos. There's like thought videos and everything. Uh, the next uh, gaming debate episode, just to keep a look at, it, has to relate with Devil May Cry. Uh, you can imagine what that's gonna be about. But, uh, yeah, uh, that's it. So, um, hope you enjoy, guys, and I'll see you next time. Later.